How come we have such long gaps in between recording sessions? I don't know life, I guess. <laughs> life. God damn you. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode four of Bake Monogatari. I'm joined today by Kiwi because Serbi is off doing life. Well, we're just not <laughs> doing life. Yeah, we're lazy. I want to apologize first for the late uploads because, well, a lot of shit happened. Kiwi's microphone broke. Secondly, she's going to be taking a long vacation. And then Serbi is also going to go for a job interview. Uh, shit's been going down and we haven't really had the time to record. So I apologize for that. But anyways, back to Monogatari. Remember what happened last episode, Kiwi? We met a snail. Still don't really know much about her. Yeah, and we learned a new word with Senju Boharius the last time. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really love that word, don't you? Uh, I believe it was Sorokon. Because we have a friend who is probably a Sorokon, but not confirmed yet. He isn't married yet. He is also definitely not watching this video right now. Doesn't matter. If he calls me a bitch, I predicted it and the kid to wear a bitch as well. Why would you say a friend but then call on him anyways in the end? I don't... <laughs> okay, whatever. Just in case you guys may have forgotten, I have rewatched this series, the entire series, several times, and Mon Guitar is one of my most favorite series of all time. Kiwi over here, however, is going in with her first time watching the series, and uh, yes, she also has ticks. so if she says something offensive, then apologies for that. On our channel, we do full time our reactions, open up your own copy, and sync it up with ours. Well, we're gonna have a timer over where Kiwi is, and uh, yeah, sync it up, watch it with us, and enjoy, I suppose. Hopefully. Please like, subscribe. Yeah, laugh at me as I make bad theories. Yes, laugh. Please. Anyways, I'm going to start the episode in five, four, three, two, one. Let's race. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, so we can't be here to see your favorite character's arc. It's just sad. What was your theory last episode? That she's like looping or something? Yeah. Hmm, yeah. Which is why there's like multiple of her in the OP. Yeah. Hmm. That's that was my assumption. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it's just... okay. <laughs> it's just talking about Araragi's past, like, kind of, like, what happened mm -hmm. before, right? Yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Mm. Traffic signs are actually pretty important in Monogatari. Thank you for telling me. I did it. I don't have my driving license yet, so I understand nothing. <laughs> well, I mean, you could tell that that was a no U-turn sign, right? 
<laughs> At the very least. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember that this is when, uh, like right after Sanjay Gohara saw Aragi beating up a little girl. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's most definitely this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big oof. <laughs> big oof. <laughs> yeah. You basically Aragi's... just called his sister's thumb. Yeah, I mean, meh. you could judge later on. Oh, well, Ajikuchi is it any different? <laughs> uh yes, yeah, Tsunade. This is the Naruto crossover that we've been waiting for. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I certainly wouldn't mind that crossover, but... <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> oh, yes. Servi's favorite character must be cute. Just like Podimus was. <laughs> I'm expecting her to turn into a penguin at some point. What? Oh no.
Ah, uh, yes. My best friend ba bus what? <laughs> bus gas explosion. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm gonna guess that's a joke with the kanji. I really figured that one out. <laughs> What's Hachikuji doing hiding behind the pole? Um, like, I also know, like, a little quiz. Like that. Um, but I'm going for... to say it at the end. <laughs> okay. I think by little quiz, I think you mean riddle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if the Sphinx said, answer my little quiz. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> understand her reasoning in something else Hmm. Random Kiwi sister just in time for a commercial break. <laughs> I don't think Senju Ohara wants kids. I agree. <laughs> Bruh.
But why? Oh god, here we go again. <laughs> Unripened fruit. Oh no, a ruggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oof. And another girl okay. witnessing Araragi beating up little children. Somehow pisses me off. <laughs> what pisses you off? I don't know. She just does. <laughs> you don't even know her that well yet. <laughs> oh. I understand why she pisses you off. Is it is it because of a certain thing that you're lacking that she has? No. Hmm. Banana goes and bus is so nice. <laughs> the thwack sound, though. Oh. Uh. For some reason, I think Anakawa might be a better mom than Senju Gohara. <laughs> I want to. I want to say something, but like, if I say it, I'm thinking that all of the Senju Gohara sims are going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not. If you're talking about Senju Gohara Sims, then I'd probably end up killing you too. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't kill me. I'm a good wolf girl. Mm -hmm. That is yet to be seen. Nani. <laughs> mm. I think you can relate to this a lot, <laughs> Kiwi. Uh huh? No. <laughs> mm. I think that I don't like her because she's a liar. Hmm. Why do you think she's a liar? Actually, you know what? Maybe we can save that for the discussion. <laughs> Bro, oh, she knows theme. Let's go.
Ah, uh, yes, the meme talk. Just randomly playing Pong. Oh. Oh, he sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Hunter Kuchi can also be read as misfortune. That's a detail that I forgot about. <laughs> Oh, it ends with Hachikuji being hungry. Of course. Hmm. Alright, let's see here. You got anything you want to unpack, Kiwi? I'm thinking, give me a second. <laughs> alright, alright. I'll just sit here and enjoy this ED. And we'll probably cut to whatever the discussion starts. Ugh. But this episode does have quite a lot of subtle things. Yeah. It has a lot of things that um, I feel like I should be watching the whole episode just to get them. <laughs> uh. I mean, that's what making what makes uh, rewatching Monogatari fun. Like, once you have the full context, then you actually notice a lot more stuff.
Okay, so um, I was thinking like a little bit from uh -huh. about the context that we got, yep. and so I'm going to scrap the whole theory that she's looping, or maybe just mm -hmm. leave it at the side for now because okay. I don't know. So what we've got so far about Hachikuji is that like like you said, her name can also mean misfortune, mm -hmm. and the fact that. When she was in third grade, her dad had to like take start taking care of her, and her name can also be read as misfortune. So maybe the reason that she's unable to get to her mom is because her mom doesn't want her anymore, and because her name is misfortune. Her mom sees her as a misfortune, and her last name is like Hachikuji. Yeah, mm. I don't know what Miley would translate to. And like she's a lost snail that cannot get to her mom. I mean, I think myself that I'm reaching pretty far. Also, uh, uh, the girl why I don't like the girl with the cat uh, pins. Uh, Hanakawa. She just, yeah, she just gives me off a really bad vibe. I can't really explain it. It she doesn't scare me. She makes me uncomfortable. Just like her gestures. And everything and the way that she looks away makes me think that she's hiding much more than she's letting on to she's trying to be nice when she actually isn't mm. i usually just don't really like nice girls so to say in any <laughs> kind of series uh well i mean and not nice girls yeah, like i guess that nice, is pretty I evident mean, nice like i so, i remember the uh vice president from uh <laughs> Pretty Boy Detective Club, who was genuinely a nice girl who got hit by a car, but both you and Servi just didn't trust her at all. <laughs> <laughs> because we have experience with nice girls, okay? Everyone mm. who is nice is evil. I see. So that's why you act evil, because you're actually nice, is that it? I'm sorry, I am not evil. I'm nice. To an extent. I got a cap, not gonna lie. <laughs> I am not the root. Okay, let's leave me. Oh wait, we have to focus on when I get out of here, okay? <laughs> sure, sure. Araragi showed a lot more of his true colors. I mean, in the last episode he was portrayed as a pervert. And in this episode he's just a stupid asshole. So, I guess... <laughs> that, like... Stupid prevails. Well... I guess you're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, he's also like stupidly kind, so to say. Why would you help out a middle school girl, an elementary school girl, who the first thing that you that she did when you met was just humph and puff at you, like ignore you completely. And also, she almost bit his fingers off. What what, what was that? Like that confused me completely. Why did she suddenly like completely lose herself and almost bite his fingers off? I mean, at first I thought that maybe she had like vampire traits like Araragi does, but that doesn't make any sense, kind of. I don't know, I never met a vampire in Bonogatari, so I don't know how they are. So I'm also very confused about that. I think that's also one of the reasons why I thought that maybe her mom or someone didn't like her in her family, and that's why she's like her mom mostly, but I don't want to assume that. It makes sense that she would react badly to Sanjay Gohara, who's reacting badly to her. Like, it's a chemical reaction. But I don't think that a child who, are giving, who you are giving a cold shoulder to would actually just hide from you, simply because you're being mean to them. So I was just assuming, like, the worst for her. And Sanjay Gohara also had a really bad experience on why she lost weight. So I was thinking that maybe our poor Hachikuji had to go through something traumatic as a child that only could happen to a child that wasn't something that happened to Sinji Kuhara and I just went to her mother but the way that Sinji Kuhara was acting towards Oshino and the way she was acting towards Araragi is kind of different yeah. in the last episode she was really friendly towards Araragi and I would not have described her as a tsundere in that moment because she was not really acting as a tsundere but Oshino all of a sudden like was calling Hutsundere and she was also she wanted I think to staple his mouth shut. So like maybe <laughs> our dear Sinjigohara has a different way she acts towards Aragi and towards other people. 
Mm, no, maybe, maybe that's for sure. <laughs> well, then, what do you think about Hajikuji saying that she's a lost snail? And, like, this is Senju Kahara's turf, but when she was trying to lead them to uh, Tsunade's place, she couldn't get there. Hajikuji keeps saying that no matter what she does, she can't see her mom. I am actually not really sure about that. The first mm -hmm. thing when you were describing that, what popped up to my head was again looping in time, but. I don't wanna also just go by that because mm. it sounds kind of stupid now that I think about it. Oshino described the being more like a ghost rather than a god. Yeah, he said it was so a spirit. She, so basically, she's being haunted. Because, like, it was really strange. Like, Senju Gohara, she decided to just pull out her, uh, her phone to use the GPS there, but even the GPS said that it was out of range, even though they were, like, in the middle of the city. Which doesn't really make much sense. I am not 100% sure in all honesty. I feel like I need a little bit more context to make a solid theory on why. I mean, it will mm. be resolved in the next episode, so I don't know why I'm even asking for more context. <laughs> I wish I was Japanese and I could actually, like, discover what their names mean. Like, think about theories about their names, but I'm not. <laughs> Monogatari is a very Japanese anime made for Japanese people. <laughs> So, or, yeah, or, yeah. Weebs. or weebs. Or, yeah, or weebs that learn <laughs> Japanese. Um, sadly, both of us are too lazy to do that, apparently. Oh, yeah. Oshino keep, kept on calling her a lost cow. So I'm like, what? A cow? I guess you could think of it as something like Senjigohara's situation. It's a crab, but it's technically a god sort of thing. But yeah, I can't really say much more on that. I have to think outside of the box. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get out of your shell, Kiwi. I am a wolf, I don't shit. Wait, what? <laughs> what does having a shell have anything to do with shedding? And if you are a wolf, then I technically you do shed. Oh, that's right. I forget. No, I'm <laughs> a wolf girl. I don't shed. Like how idols don't have to go to the bathroom, is that it? Yeah. And mm. how girls don't poop. <laughs> yeah, I see. I see. Like, all of the clues that I have, like, that I noticed as a first-time watcher, that mm -hmm. basically her mom doesn't like her, sh and she doesn't want her there, but Hachikuji really wants her mom, and that's why she goes to visit her. But mm. because she subconsciously doesn't want to go there, because she knows that her mom will, she doesn't like, she knows that how her mom will react to her, the snail spirit kind of came to her and yeah. she made kind of like a secret deal with the snail spirit where she doesn't let her come to her mom mm. because of what her mom does to her so basically this the spirit makes her go in loops not time loops like she can never find the house she can never recognize it she can never see it so basically you're thinking that she made some sort of deal with his snail spirit that helps subconsciously like protect her from having to face this problem which is her mom uh, her parents divorcing basically not just her uh, mom her parents divorcing okay i get you i get you pretty solid theory we're probably gonna end up seeing the conclusion actually no i know we're gonna see the conclusion next episode so we'll see how that theory pans out thank you guys so much for sticking around for the discussion we will see you all in the next one Later dudes. Bye bye to generate. <laughs>